Hello guys and welcome to the latest episode of Bo Waking It. Again, this is the series where I take apart my own Lego guns to just maybe possibly help you with your own. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. This is the arc. Now from the video response, like in the comments, from what I could tell, you guys really enjoyed this gun and I don't blame you. I really do too. So yeah, let's start with the stock. Honestly, nothing special about it. Just some slope on the bottom. This part is solid, and that's it. Uh, this part uses some jumper plates to make it through studs. And that just goes on here. This is the uh, little end bit of the stock. As you can see, it uses a hinge brick right here. And then a clip holds it into place right there. Moving on, handle. Like I said, it was built horizontally, so this is what it should look like, but using some of these bracket pieces, I was able to attach it vertically, which it, it looks really nice as a handle, and um, the black bit comes off. It's just like a solid chunk, as you can see. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I guess we'll do the magazine next. Here it is, it uses a clip piece here and uh, for the swivel and then this for the mag release. And then the curve is pretty simple, you guys should know how that works by now. I mean, honestly, come on. Rear sights, nothing too special, uses some cheese slopes. Um, the grip, I've showed you guys before uh, in the actual video. I told you guys it was built horizontally with bracket pieces just to get these uh, corners right and it looks cool so yeah bracket pieces in here uh, as far as I know I could take this part off yeah there you go this is a little great bit it's built really weirdly but it gets the job done and this entire bottom part comes right off with the barrel which is two studs wide with plates on the side and everything's falling apart I'll try to show you guys the muzzle if I take this off, as you can see. It uses these bracket pieces, or whatever these are called, the one by ones with uh, studs on all four sides, two of them, two studs in the middle, so that, you know, they attach these, and they're just attached to this little bit. That's still relatively simple. This is the, I guess, complicated part, so, um, uh, how do I show you guys this? Let's start with the trigger guard. Here it is. It uses a Technic pin and then a clip piece for this hinge right here, because I was lazy and didn't want to, you know, use any more hinge bricks. But honestly, it just looks better. It's much more sleek. If I could take this part off. Oh god. Oh right, yeah. The mag release uses the same rubber band as the uh, trigger. I guess I should have remembered that before I took this part. So, um, yeah, yeah, let's just take apart the barrel first. So, here is the barrel. Front sights. Very, very simple design, as you can see. If I, if you guys can see. There you go. And use some of these, uh, sort of slope bricks or whatever the hell. The top is completely covered with slope bricks. These are slope bricks, I know that. Um, the clip piece uh, for the rear sights. And this is... Oh, this is gonna be hard. Barrel still relatively simple, I guess. It's just a solid block. And then here is the rubber band for the charging handle right here. So it goes good distance. Alrighty, so I'll start by taking off this entire top bit. This just all comes off. Here it is, the interior, internals, whatever. There you go. And then the barrel. And as you can see, this thing is three studs wide, and it kind of peeks out from the side of the gun. But, you know, it's not very noticeable, so it's good, I guess. And, yeah, here's the interior. If you guys pause here, you should be able to kind of figure out what's going on here. Basically, this side is two, this side is one, and the bolt is three studs wide. And, if I pull it, yeah, here. And it just goes all the way back here. Um, I'm gonna try to detach this from the barrel if I can. 
or no, I'm just gonna take out the charging handle. There you go. And um, yeah, here's the basically receiver. Give me a second, guys. Here is the charging handle. Uh, if I can figure it out. Pretty simple design, just this little gray square with the loop. Attach the rubber band, you know, you pull it back, and that's really all there is to it. I mean, there are some bracket pieces in there for the uh, side details, but you know, this is just essentially a giant block. And uh, yeah. Oh jeez. Uh... Alrighty, receiver time. Here is the fire selector. Here's how it's attached. Very simple. I'm gonna have to slowly like take this apart. I'll be right back, guys. I finally got it. I took this giant piece off. So here is basically the Megwell and the trigger. As you can see, like I said, they're connected by run one run one rubber band. And here's basically how it works. If I could show you guys, it has this little piece here that basically catches onto this hinge brick so it doesn't slide out. And the mag release basically, um, if I could show you guys this, oh jeez, it gets caught in that little groove. Uh, no, it doesn't. Wait, give you a second. There, it works better with the top bit because it has some other stability. Stabilizing bricks, but yeah, basically you shouldn't be able to take it apart and then when you do this It pulls this little lever outside out of the groove and then you are able to take this out And like I said, it doesn't really work well because I took everything apart and it's more stable with an arm So, you know the pieces like these parts don't bend and stuff, but yeah, that's essentially it Like I said, this is connected with one rubber band and That's the arc. So thank you guys so much for watching um, if, again, if you have any questions, just ask me in the, down below, or with, or, like, using my email in my about, or whatever, just, if you have any questions, contact me, and, um, I'll see you guys next time, bye! Whoa.